Hi, welcome back to the course on music and society. What we are learning in this course is that music not only functions as an important means to arouse pleasure, to entertain us or to distract us from everyday troubles, but that it is also constitutive of the society in which it is produced, distributed and perceived. Music influences, forms, informs and transforms our social and moral behavior, as well as our ideas about identity, religion, gender, etc. In this module, we will focus specifically on the relation between music and politics. When I ask my students in the Netherlands about their first thoughts on the relation between music and politics, they mostly come up with three examples. The first example concerns music used during election campaigns, especially in the US. Think of Barack Obama's use of Carly Rae Jepsen's big hit Call Me Maybe, or Donald Trump using Revolution by the Beatles. Second, my students refer to politicians who play music themselves. Bill Clinton playing saxophone, former British Prime Minister Edward Heath conducting a classical orchestra, or Further back in history, Frederick the Great of Prussia, who was passionately performing and composing music while his armies invaded Poland. Their third example is usually about song lyrics with an explicit political message, from Fela Kuti's anti-Nigerian government song Zombie to perhaps the most famous one, Give Peace a Chance by John Lennon. Now, these are three very good examples to start with. However, in this course we would like to dig a bit deeper into some other connections music has to politics. Here we will discuss, among other things, three different, let's call them layers, by which music can be connected to politics. The first layer we will simply call music and politics. The second, music and the political, and the third, music and subversion or resistance. Furthermore, although we do not try to avoid rather obvious examples like the ones mentioned by my students, our focus will be less on explicit political messages in lyrics and more on the role the music can play in the execution or undermining of power. Moreover, we will address music as a political discourse. But of course, as with the other modules, you should realize that the topic such as music and politics is enormous and needs much more unpacking than what we can do here. We have made our own selection of topics instead of trying to give some superficial overview. So, in the next video, we will start with the first layer the relation between music and politics, basically through some concrete examples.